morning. It is brisk this morning. 70 degrees last week, 20 degrees this morning. Big swing there, but we got things we gotta do. We're gonna play trailer roulette this morning. We gotta get this off. It is full. Um, I ran across a pretty good pile of metal yesterday. A guy was tearing down some barns and some old houses. He said I could come and get it. Uh, I believe he's gonna be there with his excavator this morning, so we gotta hustle. I'm gonna go get my larger trailer from over there. Gonna leave this one here. Uh, Dad's gonna come with us this morning and hopefully we don't freeze to death. Stay tuned. Gotta get those out of here, gotta get this out of here. And uh, yeah, so, a little momentary standby. Let's get this stuff out. Uh, we'll hook up the trailer. I have got to get new tires. These tires are absolutely shot. That one's probably, mm, we may not be going anywhere, but we'll see. That one's got some pretty bad cracks in it down there. They're so old, but kinda in a bind. Need to use this trailer. So, let's get to work. All right, y'all, the fleet is rolling out. Um, Dad's back there behind me, he's coming, I think. There he comes. So we got two trailers, we're gonna see, um, we're gonna see what kind of mess we can get into. Supposedly this guy's gonna be here with his excavator and he'll be able to load us. Uh, hopefully this trailer tire over here keeps air in it. I'll, uh, I gotta do better about that, I gotta get some new tires. So, anyway, we're on the road see what we can do and yes I did put my seatbelt on I know you heard that ding and I'm sure somebody's gonna say put your seatbelt on seatbelt's on so I haven't really used this uh, larger trailer much and it definitely bounces um, and moves a whole lot more than that smaller one does uh, being empty obviously I think being you know with some weight in it it won't be as bad but I'm just hoping and praying that tire will hold out until we can get this metal to the scrap yard. I'm gonna try to get one load to the scrap yard today and at least maybe fill the trailers back up. There may not be that much. I kind of just got a quick glance yesterday. Guy was out there tearing the stuff down and he was like, guy I'm supposed to come get it. He never did. I'll call you, you know, if I'll check with him. So he called me back, said the metal was mine if I wanted it. <sighs> yes, I want it. So I'm gonna try to get it this morning. That's the plan. We should be there in just a few minutes. All right, so we made it, and uh, as you'll see, uh, somebody's already beat us to it. Guy told us we could get the metal, told us that somebody was supposed to come two weeks ago, and they never showed up. I could, heck, I could have it, and would you believe they are already loaded? So, on to plan B. Well, as you can see, uh, back at home, no scrap metal today, at least not picking any up like I thought we would. Uh, that's one of them things. Um, people, people don't understand that the whole scrap metal game, uh, if you don't, if you don't get there quick, somebody else is going to get it. So anyway, it's already gone and so it was already getting loaded up. So we're going to take a look at our trailer and take some stuff apart that we got here that has been riding around for a while. We need to get this done anyway. So uh, let's take a look and see what we got in the trailer. Well, this is a culmination of pretty much um, all of last week. So several different things here. <clears throat> a couple of garage motors, um, some garage doors, just some random pieces of scrap that were in here. One little aluminum radiator there um emptied out the barrel at the tractor place so that's where some of this 
um, these small miscellaneous items, lawnmower blades, coat hangers, uh, the metal strapping, um, these posts. That's where all that came from. We do have a few um, little computer parts, server parts down here uh, that we can take apart now. We'll take a look at those and uh, we'll get the boards out of there and see if they're worth it. Kinda had a uh, lapse in judgment here in my garage motors. Actually, I might be able to get that one out. I don't know. My garage motors are buried down there. We need to get those motors out. Refrigerator on top, obviously. And I don't know, we, we might just rearrange this to be able to get all the stuff out. This was a big um, rack system here that um, my son, he wanted to kind of mess around with. He likes to take all the little tiny screws out and stuff. Um, but they had, uh, there was a couple of little boards in there and, you know, a big wiring system that was in there. So it wasn't a total loss, but on these, there was, there was these boards in there, which there's nothing special about these at all, except the fact that they have some aluminum strips across the top that are nice. And then they've got some aluminum strips across the bottom. And I've got a buddy that wants, um, these little gold fingers he's trying to get enough to see if he can get do the little process where you put it and let it deteriorate and the gold kind of floats to the top i'm going to give him all these little gold fingers here but we'll get these aluminum strips out and there was also there was several little like i guess they were just little placeholders but they had um some aluminum on there as well so that was pretty nice but that's pretty much all we got for last week there was these that I'm sure at one point had some nice boards in them, but this one does have a really large transformer in there. So we'll get that out. And I think there's two of them that have these really nice thick cables and I'm assuming they're copper, they should be. So we'll get those out as well. And I, this might have um, the transformer in it as well. So let's look at these first uh, and get these out and then we'll dump this over and get the sealed unit and copper out of there. <clears throat> and dump all our smalls in so that's the plan let's get to work well i know it's not as as exciting as uh loading up a brand new load of scrap but at least we got a little bit of work to do we're going to start with these i'm going to go ahead and cut these uh, cables off let's see what kind of see what kind of copper we got in there That's the good stuff right there. Um, so this is, we'll strip this and get the copper out of it. That's some, uh, that's some good copper. And it looks like that these, these cables actually run back inside here. So we'll take these, this panel off and, um, and get the rest of it. Can I help? You can help. This will be our bucket to throw all our stuff in. So you want to help, huh? Grab that drill. Got it. Okay, let's make sure it's on reverse. It is. All right, can get these screws right here. Okay. Can you do it? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's look inside here. Whoa. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Lots more of that wire. Oh man, that's fantastic. That's good stuff right there, bud. That was a good idea to look in there. Okay, we're gonna get all this out and um, get it get it cut. We might we might be able to cut this with the uh, with the snips, but we'll see. All right, we got that wire out of there. Some really good, really 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 good wire. Um, I found out it was multi strand but um, might still be able to get bare bright with that, with, a, with as much as we have, um, if we can strip it. We'll see. All right, this one's done, just a shell now. And uh, let's get this one apart and look at this uh, transformer that's in there. It, all right, this is inside the other one. The, this one is empty. Um, this is what it's all about right here. Good board in there, good aluminum, um, some copper, copper bearing boards in there good wire and super duper good trans transformers that we uh 
we might can see if we can get the copper out of these. This, this is why it was so heavy. This thing was massive, massively heavy. And um, now, now I see why. I'm assuming that this, I don't know what would have been here. If this would have been the batteries, if there would have been a tray of batteries or a couple of batteries, maybe one, two. If this was, if this had a battery backup to it as well. I'm sure someone will know. I don't, I'm, I'm not good with electricity. I'm not sure why it would have had transformers and batteries. Maybe I'm, obviously I could be completely wrong on that. But anyway, we're gonna get this apart. It's good stuff right here. All right, rocking and rolling along here. Got that huge transformer out. This is our bucket of goodies over here, wire, boards. Um, taking a look at some of these smaller units here. Uh, these definitely are dated. Uh, there's not too much in here. Um, I mean, just a tiny bit of copper, but we're going to get them out while we've got them. We've got a few more of those <clears throat> and I got all the aluminum and stuff from back here. I actually can reach these three garage motors. So we'll get those out as well and um, we'll get the refrigerator done and that'll probably be about it uh, for this go around. And then we'll take a look and see um, kind of what we got in our bucket of goodies there, but we're rocking and rolling along and i do oh when we get done i do have one piece to show you in the truck up there um that's going to be perfect for our spare tire uh carrier for our trailer pumped about that we'll show you that in just a second so i'm going to keep working on these we'll fill that up and we'll take a look so stay tuned all right so tell me you have kids without telling me you have kids well it takes you almost 48 hours to complete one little project. Yeah, we're still working on this trailer. Um, yeah, busy. Family keeps you busy, right? But family is so, so worth it. So we're done with everything. Got the sealed unit out of the fridge, a little bit of copper. Um, pretty much got all the computer circuit boards, um, all that stuff taken care of. The last thing we're gonna work on right now is we're gonna work on these, um, these last few garage door motors here we're gonna get those apart and I think that's gonna be it um, yeah it took a lot longer than I was expecting but that's okay sometimes that happens but I do want to get this uh, scrap off of this trailer into the scrap yard this week so um, yeah we're gonna get these motors apart and then we'll wrap it up so haven't really been able to do one of these take apart chat videos in a while. Um, so while I was finishing up these little motors here, figured we could um, chat and see how everybody's New Year's going. I hope it is going well. Um, hope you all had a great holiday season. Dude, no way. Another cut. You would think I would wear gloves at this point, but you have no fine touch with gloves and I can't can't do what I need to do but I hope you all had a, um, had a good Christmas had a good holiday season um, a good Christmas season I hope you had a good new year and I hope that it is off to a good 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 start um, I hope you've been able to find a little scrap metal along the way it's always a plus. I really am. Um, I really am disappointed. Uh, back at the beginning of this video when we started, it seems like it's been a while now. But I am really disappointed about that uh, that scrap pile that we were told that we could get, and then those people were there. Um, I really don't think people understand just how. I'm not gonna say it's cutthroat. It's not, it's not cutthroat. It's not really it. I mean, maybe it is. I don't. I don't. I don't consider it cutthroat. I'm not going to take it that serious. I mean, yes, I want some metal, but I'm not going to. It's not. It's not that serious to me. But I was disappointed uh, that we weren't able to get that. I was looking forward to that. Uh, drug my dad out of bed and made him get out in the freezing cold, and there wasn't anything to show for it. I got a feeling. I've got a feeling that what happened was is that guy called he said nobody answered and so that's when he called me back and said hey you can uh, you can have this metal if you want it so I've got a feeling that even though nobody answered that 
Um, they saw the missed call, they saw the number, and said, oh, this guy's calling again. We were supposed to get this two weeks ago. Maybe we should go on out there. And y'all, it was freezing yesterday morning. It was, it had to be, it had to be in the 20s. I mean, if, if it wasn't, it was, it was, it was close. And I got out there, I don't know, it was, it was right at nine. And they were already gone. So they, they were missing. They were getting done, that's for sure. So I don't know what happened. Um, I hate we didn't get it. But uh, you can't win them all. You can't get it all. So um, that's just the way it goes. So we'll try again the next time. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to, hopefully we'll be able to snag a little bit more metal. But I've got some people uh, that are kind of on the fence. They're like, yeah, I might have some stuff that you, know, that you can come and get. Um, and I think I'm going to... I have, I have mentioned it before that I really don't have to advertise that much at this point. Like people, I've got, you know, I've got several places that I can go and just go get it. And then a lot of times people just say, you know, they know that I come and get metal and so it's just wrong. Um, but I have, I think I may advertise since it's the beginning of the year, say, hey, you know, if you want to get some get a head start on your spring cleaning or cleaning up for the year before the year gets started blah 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 give me a call um i also thought about having uh getting a little sign made uh, and putting it up at an intersection down here saying that i pick up scrap metal and just kind of see kind of see what we can get from that i don't i don't know if that will equate to anything um I'm always scared. I'm not gonna say scared, but I'm always worried that I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna get in over my head. I'm gonna get too much business. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't do this for a living, and I don't want to get in over my head, um, you know, and and not be able to just get way behind. Obviously, this is not my full-time job. It's at the church. So that needs to take a priority. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think I am gonna advertise in some form or fashion <clears throat> and see if I can drum up a little bit more business uh, for this year. It would really be ideal if I could pick up one or two more uh, regular, you know, pickups like once a week and go and pick it up. That would that would be ideal. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. Let me go grab these uh, sockets here. Get this motor. So, I don't know what's up with this guy. We got the motor out of the other one. This one is... It pretty much just had a bar that fed straight into there. And... That was it. So we're going to take... No! Oh no! Hey! You alright? You okay in there? Believe it or not, we are done. Sealed unit, four motors, no, three motors, one ginormous transformer, which this might be a project tonight um, after church and watching some football. Might see if I can get the copper out of that just for some kicks and giggles. This is our bucket of goodies. So we'll briefly look at this real quick. Um, mostly electronic boards, really nice piece of aluminum right here. One of the bottom of those little um, electronic pieces, the whole thing is um, aluminum. Uh, a little bit of copper out of the refrigerator, just a few pieces. I think there's like one or two more pieces of that. Several pieces of wire <clears throat> that was taken apart. Um, I still got to get this little piece off of here, but again, very, very, very good copper <clears throat> in there very excited about that definitely going to strip that tonight as well but i think that's about it we got lots of computer pieces um lots of aluminum pieces and yeah so not a bad little haul there i would say that probably added i don't know with the copper wire and that i don't know that might be another hundred dollars other than just leaving it up here and throwing it away um these are all our shells all the extra little goodies we'll throw that out as well uh, so yeah we're done
believe it or not, we are done. Let's walk up here. I want to show you one thing in the back of the truck. So y'all know how I complain about the back of my truck all the time. It always ends up being junked up. One of the biggest issues is that daggone spare tire that rides around in the back of my truck. Well, would you believe the other day when I was cleaning out at that tractor place, this little piece was in there. And this is heavy duty, y'all. Like this is, this is half inch stuff. Heavy, heavy duty. Check this out. Boom. You know what that's gonna do? Maybe right here? Yeah. Holes are already there. Probably just gonna weld it on there anyway. Might put a bolt in there just for funsy sakes. Have to, whoa, 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 whoa. Have to put some holes in this uh, for the tire. Line that up. But check that out, y'all. Perfect. Absolute perfect piece of metal. Um, to do that with anyway just wanted to share that with you i was excited all right y'all that's gonna do it for today um uh, well <laughs> i guess we can't say today because this video literally took almost two full days to complete um but that's it for this video um, i appreciate you watching stay tuned before it gets starts to get warm outside which hopefully we have a little bit of time before it starts to get warm outside uh, we've got a big bridge to complete across the creek back here. We've got a deer stand to build. Um, we've got a food plot to put in. Going to be some outdoorsy type hunting type, not necessarily hunting, but um, in relation to that and outdoorsy type stuff. I got the brush cutter guy coming again to cut some more paths down. Um, so there's going to be some pretty cool videos coming up soon, hopefully. <clears throat> um, we'll get a video of putting that uh, tire carrier thing on there. Maybe somebody will enjoy that. I'm going to get new tires on the car trailer and just lots of stuff to take care of. So we'll try to get as much as we can of that on video. Plenty to take care of, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching. Please, y'all, don't forget, uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. It means more than you know. It helps the channel out, helps, helps get that video up there um, to the top of the food chain, if you will, is beat that YouTube algorithm and uh, get these videos out there. I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoy it. Leave me some comments in the comment section. Uh, my email is there too. If you got something you want to chit, chit chat about, <clears throat> would love to hear from you. I uh, hope you have a great week and we'll see you on the next video.